put yourself last... in the shoes of those who are overseas Filipinos. How how can you push them to save? Anong gagawin mo kay ko nandito para number mo one, save? Number one, you have to do something otherwise your children will suffer. You will experience the same fate as you did na sumusuporta sa family members. That's why you make yourself financially independent in the future so that your children will be freed from that obligation and then can do great things for themselves. Hi guys, I'm still here in Qatar. We're in for another treat again. We have a super rich guy. Nah, no, not rich. <laughs> and smart and as genetically enhanced. Just old. Just genetically old. enhanced. Just <laughs> <Not> enhanced. Not <laughs> 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 genetic. Enhanced. Then ano pala? With proper genetics. Oh, with the net. <laughs> Tignan nyo, if you compare, mga kong cameraman alalay PA here in Qatar. It's not true. It's not true. <laughs> but anyways, this session, this video, is for people who are abroad. Yes. That I don't know are having a hard time to save. One of the things that we wanted to share also is, kami ni Marvin we have a, such a big heart for our overseas Filipinos. That's why we've been traveling and just to ano no. Ako lang na for the Chinese. <laughs> big heart for the Chinese. Ano mo de ba? I'm married. What, what we're doing is a uh, mm. ano to eh? It's not it's not easy because it gets gets tiring, takes a lot of time, and sometimes it's costly even for us. But uh, we do it because. It needs to be done, and we know we really appreciate all the mm. work that our OFWs are doing everywhere. Mm. So yeah, and then we're gonna do a a special session for for them today in your video. Oh, so, but this one is also in conjunction for those who are in Japan. Kasi yes. Yung ano? Okay. Anong difference ng Filipino sa Japan versus na nagu work don versus in terms of spending and living compared uh -huh. sa Middle East? Um, mm. since we're in the Middle East right now. I think it's a little bit different. So Japan, because I what I noticed, some of them are there's an opportunity them for them to become you no know, real residents, long-term residents in okay. Japan. So, uh, so in the difference dito, because walang ganong opportunity, you know? So um, the Filipinos here are they think of their work as temporary, mm. and people in Japan, some of them would prefer to stay there and live there and, Pero and they... essentially, talagang become Japanese. So you recommend na yung mga taga Filipino taga, na taga Japan to buy property na sa Japan? If, if they're staying there, if they're okay. living there, why not? So diba? better buy property in Japan? Oh, why not? Okay, now, bakit? They buy the property in the Philippines if they're extra for, siguro for investment purposes. Okay, pero bakit sila hirap mag-ipon? What's the biggest hindrance, hurdle para sa mga Filipinos in general, not just in Japan, to yeah. save and uh -oh. invest? I think number one, um, it has something to do with our culture. Siguro hindi tayo masyado well Ano eh, hindi, unlike your Marvin, everybody else, parang they don't see a need for it, they don't see the urgency for it. So meron ganun. No? So in, in that in that sense, Kailangan genetically wala. challenged ako eh. So wala, yun ang panlaban <laughs> So that's what, si Marvin, yung baon niya ng high school, intact pa na sa investments kayo. <laughs> no? So, I mean, very few Filipinos are intuitive about these things. So, kaya medyo may challenge. Now, second, I think, uh, particularly those who are abroad, is that there's just too much pressure to help support family members okay sometimes beyond their ano, their immediate family so it's a challenge challenge Pero talaga may, lalo mahirap mag-ipon may kinalaman ba to sa ano madami pa rin nagsasabi kahit abroad kulang yung sweldo nila kasi not, not everyone naman will be I guess engineers yeah. or they will be architects or IT practitioners na their salary anywhere around the world will be above the average well, paano yung mga sakto lang sakto lang talaga they're into construction or something yan yan Kasi babalik pa rin yan doon sa, ano eh, sa quality of life, yung lifestyle na gusto mo. And sometimes, kaya rin naman nagiging challenge kasi nga, um, overextended family support. Um, sa, uh, example, um, you're working here, you're siguro a laborer or somewhere. Tapos, support mo yung asawa mo, anak mo, support mo magulang mo, baka minsan pati kapatid mo, baka minsan pati lolo mo. So talagang hindi magkakasya yung pera. I so mean, dapat di ma kahit masyado support? Kalaki, or... mo, mas, I think they have to, ano eh, um, Crossing the street, guys! Crossing yeah. the street! So, ano? Tick na naman kami ni Marvin. Hindi, <laughs> para sa vlog, gagawin natin lahat. Sa, ano, buwis buhay, mga buwis buhay moves to. So, they, you suggest, hindi masyado magbigay na sa family, not has, so much? It has to do with culture pa rin, no? Uh, yan yung challenge talaga, there are no hard and fast answers. Okay. There. There, siyempre, iba ibang family dynamics, iba ibang mm. family culture, magbabago, no? Okay. Hindi uh, ko naman sinasabi lahat, but quite a few number because yung Kakulangan ng mga magulang maghanda para sa kanilang kinabukasan, 
uh, the children have to pay for it. So, and that's why it's a challenge. Kaya nga, how do you handle things like that? It's you know through education, communication, um, practicing tough love, limit, put limits, uh, allocations, budgeting. Marami no, marami pwedeng gawin para to balance things out. And isang nakikita namin na siguro nangyayari also is that we see that some family members are not contributing. If there's a, if ah, so they're not, they're not working anymore? In the name of OFW. In the name of OFW. Oh, bahala okay. na si Kuya, siya ang OFW. Ah. And yan naging problema. So nagkakaroon sila ng burden. Or okay. Sometimes it's already a false burden. So, eto, put yourself in the shoes of uh, overseas Filipinos. Ay, patay, maglulobat. Oh no. Put As yourself last... in the shoes of those who are overseas Filipinos. How how can you push them to save? Anong gagawin mo kayo kung nandito? Paano number one, save? number one, you have to do something otherwise your children will suffer. You will experience the same fate as you did na sumusupport as family members. That's why you make yourself financially independent in the future so that your children will be freed from that obligation and then can do great things for themselves. Pero parang, do you, how do they budget it? How, uh, what's, what's a parang very practical step na, okay, andito ako ngayon, tempting din gumastos eh. Kailangan yes. ko magpadala, tapos meron pa ako mga iba. Balikan mo ngayon yung objectives and budgets mo. Ano ba mga dapat paghandaan? Example, retirement, education ng mga bata. You do your, ano, you do your, um, kumbaga, you create your objectives first and then, paano mo siya ipa-finance or fund Ano mga dapat mo gawin? That will give you a motivation to stick to your objectives and plans and execute. Kaya yun yung ginagawa namin ni Marvin, ituturo kami talaga. Okay. So, retirement, education ng mga bata, bahay. You know, your, you order your priorities. Mm. So, the, for, the pero, may anak ka, Siyempre, kailangan mo pa ng insurance, kailangan mo ng health yeah. How do you prioritize that? Ano yung, is there a, a guide, a system that... Number one... Siyempre, food. Siyempre, kailangan yun. Transport, rent. Kailangan number one, oh. again, there are no hard and fast rules. No hard and fast rules. So, you have to go back pa rin. You look at go your back. spending. You, you try to allocate, you try to budget, and and, oh. and, and, and and stick to which one you can actually afford at this time. And then, siguro, as you do that, you you improve. You, you As your income you improve, you add them to the next objective as your... Income for your improves, you add to the next objectives. It's not something that can be fixed in a in one go. Sakto sakto lang pera. Health insurance, buna life insurance. Ha. Ah, maybe you can look for a life insurance and a health benefit. Hmm. Sa ano eh. Sakto sakto lang pera. Ilan months emergency fund muna. Kung kaya mo na tatlong buwan, pag hindi sabon muna. You Some... you ano niya ne? Eh. It's a uh, something that you build on over time. Okay. Sakto lang pera. Kailan ba magloto? <laughs> <laughs> Madami nagluluto so, eh. Madami nagluluto, di ba? Kasi baka malit na, na amount lang, tapos lalagay yung... Kung probability naman ako sa loto, mas, mas, mas mataas pa yung probability na tamahan ka ng kita. Okay. So, don't waste your money there. Uh, anyway, that's gambling, no? So, hmm. hindi yun. So, don't, don't. Uh, ano mo, hindi lang sa gambling yun, yung mga tao, nagkakaroon sila ng false hopes. Okay. And that's not the way to prepare for your future. Ito pa, sakto-sakto lang yung pera. Sakto-sakto lang yung pati rin. Oo nga, abot tayo, abot tayo. Pag sakto...